Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of amplitude shift keying guys. So this is a modulation method. So if you have not seen the previous lecture about modulation, please check it guys because that's the basics, right? So you need to understand the basics, then you can continue here guys. Okay. Yes. So amplitude shift keying. So from the name only you can say, so here there's a concept of amplitude. So if you recall, we discussed about the amplitude also right yes so amplitude shift keying ASK is a type of amplitude modulation which represents the binary data in the form of variation in the amplitude of signal okay so I I know that most of you did not get that much of idea so once you are going through the example you'll be getting a clear idea don't worry okay yes so basically here what it is trying to say is so it is Amplitude shift keying is a type of amplitude modification method you can say. So basically using this method we will be representing our binary data in terms of analog signal. So that concept is a nothing but the amplitude shift keying guys. Okay. So now you'll be saying that okay show as an example so that we'll be having a clear idea. Okay. So now let us go through an example. So this is our binary data guys. So zeros and ones are in binary right. So one zero one is our data. So how you can represent this data in with using amplitude shift key. So I told you what will be varying guys. So amplitude. So the amplitude will be drawing in this way guys. Okay. So I am assuming this as a one. Similarly, if there is a nothing that has zero. Similarly, if there is an amplitude hike again, okay, this is a one. So in this way, so with the help of this amplitude, wherever it is a high and wherever it is a nil or low, you can decide which binary value it is trying to show. So here it is a high, so it is a one. So here is a low, it is zero, high one. So in this way, converting this binary data into amplitude null graph or signal you can say this as an amplitude shift keying. So here both the frequency and phase remains constant. So if you observe here, so here uh, due to the space I did not con complete it. But basically here the frequency and the phase shift are kept constant. So if you assume here it is continued like this only here. So it is not reversed or anything right. Yes. Guys we will be discussing about the, those are two things also don't worry like the frequency change what will happen and phase change what will happen. Don't worry okay. Yes. So both frequency and phase are remained constant while the amplitude is changed. So basically here amplitude we changed right. Yes. So the two binary waves. Sorry the two binary values 1 and 0 are represented by two different amplitudes. So the high amplitude is 1 and low amplitude is 0. Simple right. Yes. So this is a combined with the carrier signal and sent. Okay, the same process of demodulation is also done. So basically this is this signal is combined with the modulator, sorry, the carrier signal and pass it to the modulator. It will generate the final signal. It will be sent to the receiver. The receiver will demodulize it with the help of carrier signal and you will be getting this signal and he will be doing the process in reverse. So using this he will be finding the binary value. So in that way the amplitude shift keying will work guys like the whole process. Okay, yes. So now let us continue with the frequency shift keying. Okay, so frequency shift keying means from the name you will be saying, okay, here frequency will be changing. So first let us go through the example so that you will be having a clear idea. So assume that again the data is same guys, so 1, 0, 1. But you, you, if you notice here the diagram looks a bit different, right? Yes. So previously the 1 is having the same thing, right? So 1 will be always representing 1 with the 2 waves guys, 2 wave cycles you can say. Okay. So what is frequency guys once I recall what is frequency frequency is nothing but the count of wave cycles in one second so here i assumed this is a one second this is a one second this is a one second so here the frequency count is a this is a one cycle this is a second cycle so here it is a two here it is a single cycle here again it is a two cycle right so if you are confused like how i am saying it is a cycle or what or what so just assume here so basically here this is a cycle guys so if in a single second if again this process has continued and i reached here so this is two cycle so if here in between here only will be having one cycle because it is zero representative similarly for one cycle it will be in this way okay so here also we are having two cycles here it is one so in this way with the help of the frequency concept like 
the count of frequency which is maximum means it is a high value if it is a low it is a low value simple right yes so here frequency shift keying is the digital modulation technique in which the frequency of a carrier signal varies according to the digital sign change digital signal change so basically whenever it is a one we are giving a two frequency guys the frequency has a two whenever it is zero we are giving one so you can also remember it in this way also anything will work okay yes so frequency shift keying is a scheme of a frequency modulation only change of modulation so only change of frequency is done here also only frequency change is done both amplitude and phase are kept constant guys we'll be discussing about phase shifting in the next lecture guys okay so don't worry about what i'm talking about phase okay yes so simple logic is the output of fsk modulation wave is high if the frequency of the binary value is high and is a low if the frequency if the binary value is low simple right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about it so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the phase shift keying as well as we will be discussing about some advanced method that is nothing but advanced frequency shift keying okay so please don't worry guys we'll be discussing in detail both of them okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching